this is the Heathkit IT-11 uh, that I have on uh, eBay. Uh, I got this in 1982 by uh, somebody who had restored it. And uh, I used it for about 10 years and I got a newer one, a digital. Uh, but every once in a while I would need, need to use this, uh, especially for the leakage tests and, and other, you know, some other things. Um, the last time I remember using it was I don't know, somewhere between 10 or 15 years ago. And, and since then, uh, what had happened was oxidation set in. So what I, have, what I did uh, today was uh, a troubleshoot. And, and, and it, it turned out to be that uh, just real black and oxidation on the, on the controls. So I uh, burnished all the controls. Um, and now it's uh, working again. It would need to be calibrated. And also the the, the, the uh, usual suspects would need to, be, need to be gone over to check the tolerance. Um, for example, right now I've got a, um, a 33 uh, microfarad capacitor in there. And it's a little less than uh, 30, so it's, you know, it's, it's a, opening up in the late... So at its widest, it's, uh, I don't know if, it, if you can see that at all, or, or I guess you can, yeah, you can, okay. Um, now I do have leads on there, so that'll take up capacitance too. I could, uh, I could, um, try running it directly in and see what kind of, uh, <clears throat> Mm. 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 Yeah, maybe I'm better off doing it. I guess I'm just not getting a good enough. Uh, evidently, it's just not hitting it good enough in there, so I've got it to it. I could go... Uh, I know what I could do. I could just go. These are new uh, capacitors that I'm I'm testing it with. This is a uh, uh, a 33 uh, at uh, 250. What I'll do is I'll just go directly in here. That's uh, Mm -hmm. It's hard to see in there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. I'm going to have to put my glasses on to see, uh, see how accurate it is now. Well, at its widest, it's, uh, is it right on? It's like a 28 or 29, so it would need to be calibrated, which, I mean, which stands to reason. It hasn't been, hasn't been touched since 1982, except for me just recently burnishing it, but I didn't replace any parts on it at all. I checked the usual suspects. A lot of people replaced these caps, but they were still working. The old, it's got the old, uh, original, uh, The old original caps in there. People like to replace those, but uh, they're still working, so I didn't. Uh... The way I look at it, if it's still working, I just leave it in there. Unless it's for a customer or something like that, and it's known to fail. So, But if it's for my own use, if it's still working, I just leave it. Okay, so it's a little bit under, so it would need to be calibrated. Uh, this is bent right here. This one's bent over here. Um, scratches and marks and things like that. Scuffing. Um, 
here's the leakage test. I've got it on 250. Mm. Oh, it, it's <laughs> the capacitor is stuck there. Okay, here's the leakage test. See it close right there, then it'll open. You see it open. And then there's a the discharge. You always need to be careful because I've been zapped before. That'll make you remember when you get zapped, especially at 600. Okay, so now it's back in discharge again. You always want to discharge them. I always discharge the caps now. Let me see if it'll work in mini lytic here. Okay, it's working. No, it's not working there. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I knocked that too. Okay. I knocked that generator switch. I always want to make sure that it's on internal. When I when I move the capacitor, it knocked it in between, so. Let's see if it'll work on mini lytic too. Okay, it's working on mini lytic too. I don't know why they did a mini lytic and electrolytic. Um maybe the mini is just more sensitive, so they did that. Um I haven't tried the paper yet on there. I can do that. Um, all I had was all I had was new electrolytics. Um, mm -hmm. Now this is out of an old late fifties uh, voice of music uh, reel to reel. Let's see how this one does here. This is uh, going to have to put it down to uh, 0.0 and maybe even um, this one isn't marked at all, so I don't know if the foil side is going to make any difference at all. Now that was a 0.02. It might not be any good because it's that old from the 50s here. So let me put it down. Okay, let me put it down. Oh, I, oh, I didn't put it right. So this one might not be any good here. If I can find a known good... Um, Foil capacitor, paper capacitor, I'll, or mic, I'll, I'll test that, but I've got it on point, uh, was it triple zero one? Bridge up. Well, it is going up there. I don't know if that's, let me put this back here. It's been so long since I used this. I, I uh, hmm. Well, I did get a when I put it over there. I did get uh, that out of it. So I don't. Uh, I would have to keep on. I'd have to find the uh, look at the uh, directions again for that. So we. I did. There was a little action right there, at the at the very edge there. Hmm. Well, anyway, that's the status of it. Uh, like I said, I did not replace any parts on it at all. Uh, th this was never used by me, so that's that's seized up right there. These still work here. And still switches for that if anybody would want to use that. Um, and I did check the voltage. That does get up to 600, or a little bit over. Hmm. Mm. There's the other side. Yeah, th this was replaced. Some of the stuff is obvious as what was re replaced, and it looks like he he added something there to, to bring it up to uh, the right tolerance or the right uh, uh, capacitance. 
Uh, I don't know whether these were replaced or not. I don't have an old, an original 100% old one to compare it with. I don't know if the eye tube's original. I don't know if the tubes are original. Oh yeah, he did. Uh, instead of putting a, a rectifier tube in there, he just put a, a solid state diode. That's what he did on that. Um, anyway, that's how it is from that side. Uh, there's the back. I mean, for being banged around uh, so long by me since 82, I mean, it's not looking too bad. There's oxidation right here. I'll have pictures of that. It's always been faithful. Uh, you really rugged. That one was replaced. I'll have pictures of that. And it's like, yes, you know, some... Because I don't know the history, I don't know what was uh, what was done on it, and, and something could have been done before he had it too. So, there's the diode that he did uh, replace with a rectifier tube. So, but that can always be removed, and um, and the tube can put, be put in there. So, okay, I'll do another video later.